Hey guys, if you're having trouble getting your drone to fly and you think it's a motor problem, then you've come to the right place. So what we're going to do today is try and figure out what's causing the drone not to fly, what's causing the motor not to work. So the first thing that you want to do is check to see if there's any damage. Um, here we can clearly see that this propeller has been broken and that's actually going to be something that you're going to be looking for in this step is to see if there's a chip in a propeller, even if it's just a tiny one, because that'll make one propeller weaker than the rest of them and unable to lift the drone as much. So the first thing that you want to do is replace all those broken propellers. So you just pull off the broken one, just straight up, and then we can use another propeller that has the same arrows on it. It's very important. Uh, see how they're both going in that direction on one side and that direction on the other? So we want to make sure that we're being consistent with our rotation, that they're going in the same direction. So we can just pop this one on right here. So that's checking for damage. So next what we want to do is check all the propellers to make sure that they're rotating in the correct direction. In order to do that, you want to check that the arrows are pointing towards either the top of the drone or the bottom of the drone, not the sides. So what you can see is here, you see the arrow going in towards the top of the drone. Here, you can see the arrow going in towards the bottom. Here, you can see the arrow going in towards the bottom. And here, it looks like we have one that's incorrect because it's pointing away. And actually, this side is pointing in towards the drone. And we want it to be pointing on that side. So what we can do is pull this off and replace it with one that rotates in the correct direction. Another good way to cross-check your propellers is actually by cross-checking them because this propeller should be the same direction as this propeller and this propeller should be the same direction as this propeller. So here you can see that one's going in, that one's going out right there, and that one's going in right there and out right there. So you're all good there. Next up we want to check to see if there are any obstructions in the shafts of the motors. In order to do that you can just pull off a propeller and check the shaft right here and see if there are any hairs in it um, because those get tangled really easily or carpet fibers things like that because those will actually slow down your motor you also want to check the inside of the propeller make sure that there's nothing in there and then once you're sure that both are clean you can pop it back on and that's a good thing to do for all of your propellers if you're not sure which one is causing the issue now that we've done all that, I'd recommend testing your drone and seeing if it'll fly. And if not, then we can move on to this next step. We're actually going to check the nexus that's connecting the motor to the drone. Um, sometimes there will be connectivity issues um, where the leads aren't touching the plates on the drone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some tweezers. I'm actually going to use these to adjust the top part of the leads, sort of pull it up. You can open up your tweezers and dig it underneath, push it up against the wall, and then pull up, and you should be able to lift up that metal wire that you see on, there are two of them. You can lift them up on both sides. Uh, just sort of get it in a different position, and that will hopefully make better contact with your plates on the drone um, and you can slide it back on and you can try flying it again and if that still doesn't work then maybe you can try adjusting the leads again basically after you've done all that you want to turn on your drone you want to try flying it hopefully it should work um, but if it still doesn't work after trying all of this then you want to do one more thing and that's check everything else um, so basically, what that means is you want to make sure that your battery is good, that your code is working, that the controller isn't having any issues. You want to make sure that it is 100% the motor that you're having an issue with. So if you're able to ensure that the motor is truly the issue, uh, then we have replacements available on both our website and Amazon. Um, I hope that this works for you guys. Uh, let us know in the comments and good luck. And don't forget that when in doubt, check your drone. See you guys.